welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Molly Quijante, and we are back with another video. So recently, um, around Thanksgiving, I posted a photo on my Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram, go ahead and follow me. Hello, so you can stay up on what we're doing, okay? Um, but a few people commented and wanted to know my 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 hair tea what what's the tea sis what what's how we get it like how you got it you know um so i took a few moments to actually show you guys how i did my hair this has probably been the easiest for me to do it's something quick it doesn't take a lot of time it doesn't take a lot of skill um but it allows me to keep full keep heat off my hair all of that jazz so without further ado before I go ahead and switch over to how we did it, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Um, and I'm sure this is actually a video for Vlogmas. So go ahead and stay tuned because we'll have another video tomorrow. So yeah, just be ready. The videos are coming. But let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, guys, so my hair has been freshly washed um, and it's kind of growing out a little bit. The shape is not giving what I wanted to give, but here we are. So I'm going to start out with the Mayel um, leave-in conditioner. That is a must. There is a foam that I'm using, which is the BTL and a rosemary oil. Um, the oil is Mayel as well. And you want to get small perm rods or larger ones, depending on how you want your ends to end up your preference, nothing special. You wanna go ahead and split your hair down the middle and clip the other side so it's out of your way. So we're gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner all over my hair. Wanna get from the roots to the ends. And then we're gonna go ahead and split our hair in larger sections. I'm not doing really small sections, which is why I enjoy this process. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and split the back of my hair Clip the top part up and then we're going to end up going to the bottom part. Use a nice detangling brush, a dimming brush, whatever your preference is. Comb through your hair so that you can make sure you're getting all the product through your hair. And we're going to repeat those steps throughout. So we're going to use that leave-in conditioner. We're going to use the oil. Make sure that oil is on the scalp because, honey, it's fall, winter. You need to make sure the scalp is moisturized. Use a little bit of foam. You can use whichever foam works for your hair. The BTL is what I had left in the cabinet, so that's what we're using. And then we're going to use that brush again to make sure all of that product gets from the roots to the tip. And then we're going to go ahead and separate our hair into three strands and braid it about 75% down. Um, just enough space so that you can actually add that perm rod to the end and it's smooth as possible to apply to the perm rod. Now let's be honest, braiding with nails is a little bit more difficult, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Perm rods can be difficult, they do slip and slide, and sometimes the little cap also pops off. So just be aware, be patient with yourself, and you'll be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another section of hair on the side, once again, larger section. We're gonna braid, try and get as close to the root as possible and pull it as tightly as possible so that the hair lays down. And once again, repeat those steps all the way through. Braid it down 75%. Go ahead and comb through if you feel any tangles. Move some product down, wrap it around that perm rod, whichever direction, there's no specific direction to go and repeat it throughout your hair. We're at the front, so it seems like I'm moving pretty fast, which I mean, it does not take that long. I think I took 20, maybe 30 minutes to do my whole head, but focus, take your time, and clip it on, girl, clip it on. So that's that. I got one section done. We're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing we did to the left side of my head, to the right side of my head, and there it is. There it is, nothing special guys, I promise. 
all right guys so it is the next day and you know we let the hair air dry i got busy and i was supposed to show y'all <laughs> yesterday but here we are makeup is done i'm about to go run some errands so i thought i'd take my hair down with you guys so this is what she looks like nothing too special you know um so nothing too special with the hair this is what my hair looks like now but what i will say is when taking down a braid out a twist out of a, a whatever make sure you have some type of oil to tame the frizz um and to kind of like direct your hair in the direction you want it to go you know so this is the oil that i'm going to use same as what i used yesterday um, when just greasing or oiling my scalp it is the myel rosemary i just like this oil personally so before i even get into using the oil i'm going to take these perm rods out so y'all this is what they look like this is my ends pretty cool not too shabby but let's go ahead and get started taking it down i like to start from the back and work my way to the front go ahead and put that all over your hands i like to smooth it through the whole braid and yeah just take it down This is what it looks like. I haven't separated it. I haven't done anything, but what I am gonna do is separate them. So they're in clumps and you just wanna naturally where they separate, go ahead and separate them and twist your ends. You can decide on which direction you want to like finger coil your hair. Um, I like to go the direction in which it looks the most natural for the ends of my curls. See, like that was just not what I wanted. Let's try the other direction. And it's cute. You see where that just naturally split off? That's where I'm gonna separate it and continue to do that throughout my whole head. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on some music <laughs> because sis, I gotta, I gotta listen to music. I can't sit here in silence and keep going. Alexa, play Spotify. All right, here's Spotify. Okay, y'all, so it's all separated, you know. It takes a little time, okay? It takes a little time, depending on how thick your hair is, depending on how long your hair is, all of that good stuff is gonna take a little bit of time. And you're literally just like, once you're separating, you're playing with it, you're having fun with it just to get it to where you want it to be. Um, this is day one hair. I don't don't you know don't fight with me i know how you girls like to tussle but i don't personally like day one hair this is day one hair i like hair that is kind of more frizzy um but it's still cute it's still nicely defined if y'all can see those curl honey wait wait honey it's giving okay i'm gonna play with this some more probably shake it out just a little bit more um but yeah, this is the hair. It's nice and full. Um, if you can tell, like my roots 
are brown and the rest of my hair is dark because your girl tried to um, dye her own hair herself. Um, probably should leave that to the professionals, huh? Yeah, we're gonna do that next time because my roots are brown, like brown, noticeably brown. Um, and then the rest of my hair is like a dark, dark brown. Not even black, not even what I went for. So we'll leave that to the professionals and do that the next time I get my hair straightened um, and ends clipped. But this is the end product and you know, she's cute. She's giving, you can play with her. You can put her different directions. I do normally like lay my baby hairs down a little bit. Nothing crazy because honestly, you're not really probably gonna see it. Um, and my, my edges don't really be doing too much and I'm okay with that. Yeah, she's okay with that. But I think it's cute. Especially no heat, nothing. Like this is literally just braiding and perm rods and three products. You can't beat that. So yeah. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want more videos on how I style my hair in between protective styles, give this video a thumbs up or drop a comment down below and let me know like what y'all wanna see. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.